Hi guys, so this is Sir Gavs again. This is the second part of the video about parabolas. So I actually discussed the definition and the eccentricity of the parabolas in the previous video. So in this video, I will be talking first about the equations of parabolas. There are actually um, four standard equations of the parabolas. Uh, we have number one and number two here. Quantity of x minus h squared equals the positive negative 4p times the quantity of y minus k. So there are two equations in this uh, given. Um, first is when positive, I mean, first is when 4p is positive, and second is when 4p is negative. So if the equation is 4p times y minus k, that's one equation, and then if the equation is negative 4p times y minus k, that's also another equation. So if the parabola, or if the equation, uh, if the equation uh, looks like this, then the parabola is either opening upward or downward. So upward if 4p is positive, downward if 4p is negative. Okay, then we have the other format. We have y minus k quantity squared equals positive and negative 4p times x minus h. So this equation is either opening to the right or opening to the left. So the difference is that in the first one, we have x as the variable. Of course, h is a constant term, so x is the only variable in the equation. And also here, y is the only variable, k is constant. So in the first one, we have x as the variable in the degree of 2. Right? And then here, y is the variable in the degree of 2. So you can actually remember these formats based on the variable in the degree of 2. So in some books, they say that um, if x is in the degree of 2, it's either opening upward or downward. If y is in the degree of 2, it's either op opening to the right or opening to the opening to the left but in my case i would suggest this um, you can use this uh, rather you know so it's up to you if, if, which one is, com is more comfortable with you but i can suggest this one um, you focus on the variable with with the degree of one so in this case for example the degree uh, the variable in the degree of one is the y variable right because x here, x here is in the degree of two so if y is in the degree of one remember y axis Y axis is vertical, and when we say vertical, the direction should be either upward or downward. Okay, so that's how I do it. That's how I identify the opening of the parabola by looking at the variable with the degree of one instead of looking with the degree of two. So with the degree of one, y this y axis opening upwards or downwards, and then we have here in the second x is in the degree of one. So x refers to the x-axis. So x-axis is horizontal. So when horizontal, we have right or left direction. Okay? So that's also opening right or opening left in the parabola. Then as for the general form of equation, we have ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 if opening upward or downward. So actually coming from here, x is in the degree of 2. So obviously, x also here is in the degree of 2 y is in the degree of 1 so y is also in the degree of 1 okay so that's opening upward or downward if the vari if the parabola is opening to the right or to the, or to the left then of course the y variable the y variable is in the degree of 2 in the general form the same way so y variable is is in the degree of 2 but actually this is this can be uh, summarized as this one this is the general form of equation of all conic sections again this one is the equation of, I mean the general form of equation of all conic sections. Um, if you remember the circle, if A and C are equal, that's a circle. But the format is the same. Here in the parabola, it's either A or C is zero. Okay, so for example, if A is zero, then obviously zero times x squared, of course zero times x squared is zero. So basically AX squared will not be part of the equation anymore. So what's left will be cy squared, and that is the opening right or left parabola. Then if c is 0, for example, if c is 0, then 0 times y squared, of course it becomes 0, so what's left will be ax squared, and that is the first equation. So basically we only have one general form of equation, and that is this one. Only in the parabola, um, uh, it has a condition that either a or c is zero so there's only one term in the degree of two okay so always remember that 
And then, so this is the um, phase of the opening upward. In the previous discussion, in the previous video, I actually used the parabola opening upward. Uh, sorry, it was actually opening to the right. Here we have opening upward, for example, this is the parabola. And this opening downward, it looks like this one. And then this is opening right. This is the um, this is the format that I used in the previous video about the definition. I actually had the parabola, parabola opening right there. And also this is the image of the parabola opening left. Okay, so opening downward, I mean upwards, downwards, opening to the right, and opening to the left. The equations, no, corresponding equations are this. So again, from here, the same equation but positive 4p. Downwards, the same equation but negative 4p. Then to the right, uh, the same equation as this one but positive 4p. And this one is negative 4p. So actually, you can just remember these two and also consider that if positive right, if positive upwards, if negative left, if negative downwards. Okay, so before we go to graphing anyway, we have to discuss the parts of a parabola. Anyway, no? So it, it, we have to discuss the parts of the parabola for you to be familiar with, um, um, I mean, for you to be guided in graphing. So first, first let's consider we have the rectangular coordinate system, the x-axis and the y-axis, the horizontal line and the vertical line. Then we have this parabola, for example, opening upwards. This one is the vertex. It is the turning point of the parabola. So if you actually take this part here, if you start drawing here, it turns to this point, and that's the vertex. And that is also the maximum or minimum point, okay? When we say vertex, it's the maximum or the minimum point of um, the parabolic function. So from here, you can say that the parabola, I mean the vertex is at the minimum. So the minimum is the lowest point of the parabola. So the parabola is um, opening upwards in this point here is the minimum point. So that means the lowest point. Anyway, it's not applicable to the opening. I mean, it's not it's not applicable to parabolas opening right or left. It doesn't have the maximum, maximum and minimum points because in the first place, they are not functions. Okay? So the parabolas opening right and opening left are not functions because if you take the vertical line test, it intersects the curve at exactly two points. Okay? So remember... Um, when we say uh, when we say functions, it should have a single intersection in the curve when you have the vertical line test. But anyway, we'll be talking about the, the parabolas opening right and opening left also. So aside from the vertex, we have the focus of the parabola. Okay, so it's actually inside of the parabola. It, it will never happen that the focus is below the parabola if it's opening upwards. So always remember the focus is always like it's being eaten by the parabola. Then, the direct vertex is on the opposite side of the focus. So if the focus is here, um, above the vertex, then the direct vertex is below. Okay, so they are always in the opposite way. Then next to that is the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is always passing through the focus and the vertex. So when we say axis of symmetry, um, symmetrical, no? it's the axis that makes the parabola symmetrical. Or in other words, it's the axis that divides the parabola um, into two equal divisions. So notice that if you consider the right side of the axis of symmetry, so this part here and this part here on the left, they are symmetrical. So symmetrical meaning they're the same, they're equal. Okay? So this is the axis of symmetry of the parabola. Next to that is we have this latus rectum. So the latus rectum is always passing through the focus and parallel to the direct tracks. The endpoints are always on the curve, okay? So always remember, it does not extend, no? It does not extend, um, it, it does not extend in, until infinity unlike direct tracks. Direct tracks can, can be extended until infinity. But here in the lattice rectum, it, it has endpoints and the endpoints are always um, on the curve or on the parabola. So there's a lattice rectum and these are the two endpoints of the lattice rectum. Anyway, the distance from the vertex to the focus, okay, so it's known as the focal distance. The focal distance is always denoted by, in our class, we use the variable p. But do not, do not be confused if, um, if you see some books using the variable a, it doesn't matter. So as long as you know that it is representing the distance from the vertex to the focus. And that is known as the focal distance or the focal length, okay. Focal distance or focal length, they are the same. 
that's the distance from the vertex to the focus. And also, uh, for the parabola, remember, no? remember the definition that any point on the parabola has equal distance to the, to the fixed point and to the fixed line. So, if you notice, vertex is a point on the parabola. Right? No, you, you would agree that uh, the vertex is also a point on the parabola. Okay? In fact, it is the turning point. So, it's part of the parabola. Now, focus, remember, is the fixed point and the rectrex is the fixed line. So, if this is a point in the parabola, it should have an equal distance to the fixed point and to the fixed line. So, if the distance from the vertex going to the focus is P, or the focal distance, then the distance from the vertex going to the direct rex is also P. Okay, so always take note of that. Then, we have the length of the lattice rectum, which is 4 times of the focal distance, or 4P. Okay, so this whole thing, the distance between the endpoints is always 4P. Of course, from the focus, this is halfway. Um, this is 2P, or twice of the focus. Okay, next, this parabola is opening upwards, so it should have x minus h quantity squared equals to 4P times y minus k. Okay, I hope that you have remembered what I have said. Uh, remember the variable in the degree of 1, that's y variable this time. And y variable is representing the y-axis, which is vertical. So the direction is either opening upward or opening downward. Okay? Then the vertex is hk at this moment. Now, if you can recall, um, like the center of the circle, it's also represented by h and k. But this time, since parabola doesn't have a center, we have the vertex and it's represented by h and k. P is the focal distance, remember? Okay. Then takeaways, the lattice rectum and the direct rex are always parallel. So the lattice rectum and the direct rex are always parallel, regardless of the opening. If it's opening right or left, opening downwards, they are always parallel. The lattice rectum and the direct rex. The axis of symmetry and the direct rex are perpendicular all the time for any kinds of parabola. Okay, so the axis of symmetry, this one, and the direct rex are always perpendicular. It means they are forming a 90 degree angle in the intersection. Next to that is the axis of symmetry and the lattice rectum are perpendicular at the focus. So the axis of symmetry and the lattice rectum are perpendicular at the focus. So this is the focus and they are intersecting at the focus and notice that they are forming a 90 degree angle. So, in other words, the axis of symmetry and the lattice rectum are perpendicular intersecting at the focus, okay? Then we have the axis of symmetry and the parabola are intersecting at the vertex. So, the axis of symmetry here, the axis of symmetry and the parabola, so this blue one here, the blue curved line, are always intersecting at the focus, so that's it guys, um, in this video we, we have talked about the parts of the parabola and um, parts of the graph of the parabola and also the equations of the parabolas, both the standard equations and the general form of equation. Uh, in the next video, we will be talking about the graphs of the parabola. So how, to, how do we graph the parabola or how do we sketch the graph of the parabola. So that's it, thank you and see you in the next videos, goodbye.